could win in a fight, me or Shin Godzilla. Now, I'm not talking about the animation. I'm talking about like the full-on fight. And this is Shin Godzilla fifth and sixth form. So let's watch. We're gonna find out the answer right now. I'm gonna say myself, but you know. Previously on Koji Center, we covered an epic battle featuring legendary. I have to win. I have to win. Easy, Shin man. Godzilla. But By the way, let me know who you guys think would win. Step further and discuss what would happen if legendary Godzilla failed to incinerate his opponent, allowing the regeneration nah, that, that of Shin Godzilla's would never fifth happen. and sixth forms. Join us as we closely analyze fifth and sixth form. Uh, I don't know if he's stronger, like way stronger, but we'll, we'll see. Into account the new weapons, abilities, and oh, the oh! The battle arena. Is that Shin sixth form? All right, we we about to watch. Coming up, Shin Godzilla's fifth forms and beyond against legendary Godzilla. Before Shin By the Godzilla way, is this the fourth form? Let's first... The scenario. Before we generate possible outcomes of this scenario, we first need to pick up where we left off in the previous battle analysis. If you haven't seen this analysis yet, pause this video, go watch it, and then come back. In the previous analysis, we concluded with an unclear winner. Given uh, that we aren't I'm easily sure going to win. Whether or not legendary Godzilla would finish Shin by burning the complete body. Yeah, I don't think and I would do that. That we have absolutely no concrete data on Shin's next forms. Should he regenerate again? Bro, that would In be crazy. Video, they should make a movie. I want to see his fifth and sixth form. Legendary Godzilla wins, but doesn't dispose of the entire body. These are completely hypothetical. The fact that yeah, see, this is fake. This is fake. So this is not real. So I'm just saying. Now enter the simulation platform. The fact that Shin Godzilla can regenerate so fast is scary, man. According to Shin Godzilla's known biology, it is possible that this kaiju's regenerative abilities can be executed in many ways, including the generation of additional creatures or duplicates. He can it's duplicate himself? That this Godzilla's body can regenerate similar to a starfish. Once entire limbs or pieces of this creature are cut off, these could regenerate into duplicates of the same yo, creature. Yo. In this particular made-up scenario... Yo, Shin imagine Godzilla Shin Godzilla with two heads. Shin. Yeah, oh, bro, that would be... But these two chunks regenerate, forming two separate entities. Oh my two god, titans, bro. Two Shin Godzillas. Now, the question. Can legendary Godzilla Easily, take easily, on man. Don't, don't even, don't even try. If successfully take on two identical opponents, the G-Man would now have to adopt a different fight methodology than what he usually resorts to. In the past, we have seen Godzilla perform well against a single foe. In a 1v1 match, this titan is very difficult to beat. But I'm undefeated! Foes, Three and all. will probably struggle. In order for this fight to go in the G-Man's favor, his first priority would be to eliminate these two as fast as possible by closing the distance between himself and... Yeah, Shin's, Shin's atomic in breath is crazy, man. We see that Legendary surpasses Shin in physical prowess, movement, and intelligence. I'm too fast, man. You can't catch me. And I'm too smart. Godzilla I do maths homework. <laughs> In this scenario, Godzilla closes the distance between the first Shin Godzilla and uses it as a shield of oh. sorts to prevent getting hit with more... 200 IQ play right Shin. here. I didn't even Once think of that. Is defeated, Godzilla will then proceed to eliminate the next one by using the same process. Approach and kill. Failure to follow this method would only mean that legendary G-Man would now get hit from four directions at the same time. Oh yeah, because he has two heads, and if I decapitate him again, then there's going to be four shins. This kaiju will have learned to incinerate this entire kaiju this time to prevent it from regrowing into something strong. Imagine, imagine if I don't kill him scenario, and he just keeps on duplicating, duplicating the until there's like a hundred shins. But what if oh it did? my. The next simulation will uncover just that. Number two, Shin Godzilla's fifth form. In the previous battle face-off, we discussed Shin Godzilla's most unique ability, which was its ability to evolve into a stronger kaiju. Now, it's really important to note here that the way this regeneration functioned depended on a few variables. Shin Godzilla evolves to counter whatever its opponent is at that point Bro, in time. Bro, he can counter me completely? Explain. At the end of this film, we saw Shin Godzilla's body get frozen thanks to a special coagulant that stopped this animal from functioning. Had this not worked, Shin Godzilla would have evolved into these smaller humanoid creatures Yo, you see here. 
That's right, folks. In order to combat humans more effectively, this creature oh would evolve into God. smaller Godzillas that would wage Yo, war Shin Godzilla is scary. I'm not gonna lie, Shin Godzilla is actually scary. But in today's scenario, Shin Godzilla went up against a more powerful G-Man, lost, but luckily was not blasted to ashes with atomic breath, giving him the opportunity to regenerate to a fifth form. Note that this fifth form will now be custom built to counter anything the G-Man has the edge on. Bro, that's in the unfair. Video, we saw that in terms of melee weapons, legendary Godzilla far outweighed Shin. This is now about to change. Shin Godzilla's brain has collected enough data on legendary. This guy's cheating. My guy collect but he fought me and then he's like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Forward, oh, oh, oh. No way he's going to look like that. Stronger forelimbs, tipped with sharp points to inflict melee damage. Its legs are now better equipped for faster Yo, movements. Yo, bro, that is unfair. Muscle concentrations have now shifted to give it a stronger core. In the previous film, we witnessed an underdeveloped head starting to form at the tip of this tail. Now Shin comes equipped with two heads, better fitted to attack from many angles. And nah, finally, come on, man, Shin. Shin. Seems to in Yo, I didn't know Shin was Shin this crazy. Now has a size and weight advantage over legendary guns. But I, like I'm saying, what if I have burning mode? I don't think he can kill me class. with burning mode. Now, would legendary Godzilla be able to defeat this Titan? At this stage, it would have been almost impossible for legendary to defeat. What do you mean impossible? I'll defeat him. I'm undefeated. Shin Godzilla's have energy depletion if for whatever reason legendary godzilla figures out that this titan's energy depletes at fast rates oh i like that would once again have to change <laughs> his fight methodology instead of charging head on against a stronger physical kaiju the yeah but the thing is that i think i would do that because i'm smart i'm smart i'm like oh i gotta do it for enough time for shin to be fully depleted of energy where the g-man could move in and finish off shin but failure to get Shin to waste its energy would only mean that Shin would completely destroy legendary Godzilla in a close 1v1 confrontation. Or worse, get blasted to death by a oh, superior atomic come weapon. On, man. This scenario now seems very difficult to win for the G-Man. But let's say for whatever reason, legendary G-Man survives and Shin Godzilla is given oh, bro, enough he's... time to regenerate to yet bro, another sixth form. Bro, sixth form? Oh my god. Number three, Yo. the sixth form. This simulation will be taken a step further and develop another alternative ending to this fight. In this scenario, legendary Godzilla survives the encounter with Shin's more powerful fifth form. He's just learning. He just keeps on improving. The G -Man. In order to do this, Shin Godzilla will now develop a final form capable of surpassing legendary in every single oh way. Oh my, come on, come on, man. Don't Does legendary sit. Godzilla man. still have in its favor? Even if Shin surpasses Legendary's atomic capabilities at this point, Legendary's atomic breath is still a dangerous weapon, capable of still inflicting serious damage if used correctly. But this sixth form will now evolve into something that will leave no edge to Yo, he has wings! There has been something that was used to effectively counter the effects Come on, of bro. atomic no. breath. Electromagnetic pulses. These, according to some official MonsterVerse sources, mitigate the effects of the atomic breath, oh. making it weaker and less effective. If this concept is migrated into this fight, Shin Godzilla would have developed its own. No, come on, Shin. Tuned specifically to counter its Bro, Shin looks scary. I'm not gonna lie. Not its own. Another attribute that Shin could now upgrade is its locomotion. In the film, it is mentioned that this ability to evolve would have eventually allowed Shin to be capable of flight. Precisely the type of locomotion abilities he that can let fly. Him have a definitive edge yo, for legendary yo, yo, who would win in a fight? Shin Godzilla, Six Form, or Ghidorah? Or even Destroyer? I would love to see you. Hey, yo, any animators watching that? Make that happen. Come on. Towards a lesser Godzilla, using its EMP like ability to snuff out the G Man's atomic breath and bring down the G Man with sheer brute force, or use a new atomic ray of its own. We could go as far as to say that this Shin can now emit atomic blasts from more controlled parts of its body, including its arms, tail, and other areas. All right, this guy has like 10... This oh, my. The end of it. According to the lore, Shin Godzilla could technically evolve to astronomical... No! Bigger than any kaiju we have ever witnessed. 
Although this concept is a little too ungrounded Yo, reality, who would win in a fight like Shin, 10th form, or, or Godzilla Earth? Godzilla that would be crazy, would man. And most of all time. Yeah, I mean, he can have his potential, but really I'm still... I feel like I stood a chance against the fifth one, but the sixth one, oh, that's a bit too much. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below what you guys think about this. Do you think I can take him on and is Shin stronger than me? Anyways, spin your boy Godzilla guys, push.